Hi, the uh, purpose of this tutorial is to get some uh, basic good images from uh, Revit. Uh, the questions have come up in the past of where to, in the easiest way to get some of these uh, images from uh, Revit. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a project. If you can see, I already have uh, the basic sample project here. No, this is not mine. But I thought I'd open this up because it's got some good details and um, it's a good example of what uh, what a, what a uh, student project might be. All right, if you can see that I've got a inventory of different uh, views uh, all through, and they've got section, detail views, renderings, so on and so forth. Now, with the purpose of this uh, this tutorial, there, I'm going to go ahead and use the renderings that are uh, already provided. Uh, if you don't have any renderings, I would suggest that you go ahead and make some renderings so you can get some good uh, output JPEGs for your portfolio. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and uh, start with renderings. If you have any questions on doing that, uh, go ahead and uh, there's different, different resources. There's going to be tutors. Uh, there's going to be, if you can remember from your notes, uh, so on and so forth. But you want to have some renderings already done. Um, just because going to this next step, you're not going to have access to, uh, and those renderings may take a while, and you might have, you might not have those as a selection. All right, so on with the show. Um, if you'll notice, I'll go up to the application button here, all right, and I'll go to export, and then I'll browse down. And most people overlook this option all the way down at the bottom: images and animations. All right. We'll go ahead and go to images. We're not going to do a walkthrough or a solar study right now, but we're just going to go to images. Now, what you want to do is browse to where you're going to output this to. And if you'll notice, I went ahead and I made a directory on the C drive. All right. I would suggest that you do it on your U drive. Use your U drive as much as possible. Don't use the C drive. All right. A, you might fill up the C drive, and B, uh, your stuff won't get backed up. So. Use the U drive, create a folder if you like. I created a folder structure like this. There's project, Revit, and images. All right, That makes it easy to where I can kind of keep all the images collected in one little area. So I'll click on that. I'll go ahead and save. I'll call it my project. And I'll use the underscore in this. I'll save. Now if you'll notice, forget this option right here, I'm not going to get into it, it's basically it'll create a bunch, you know, create a, a bunch of uh, folders and whatnot. Uh, kind of avoid this if you can. Um, we'll, grow, we'll scoot on down to selected views and sheets, we'll click that. And if you notice the Autodesk 360 is selected, we'll just go ahead and do it in session. Check none. All right. And you should have an inventory of some of the views that you do want to show. Like, let's go ahead and take a uh, typical foundation detail, all right? And we'll take a rendering from the yard. I like that one. Um, and then we'll go ahead and take, say, a longitudinal section and maybe a section per perspective. That one's pretty cool. Uh, now, we won't save as or anything because that's kind of saving as a profile, if you will. But we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, if you're not seeing some of your sheets, be sure to check this box. A lot of times, people don't have that checked, um, and they've run across errors of trying to find, hey, where's my sheets? Uh, so that's a little bit of a troubleshooting step there. Also, go ahead and do site plan. Why not? We'll click OK. Save the session for future use. That's up to you. If you want to save it, that's completely fine. I'm not going to here. I'm going to hit no. Now, there's a couple other uh, other uh, options here that I would suggest in changing around. It says fit to 512 pixels, vertical and horizontal. Let's not kind of do that. Let's go ahead and let's go after image quality more than uh, pixels. So what we'll do is we'll go to zoom to, and we'll go to, uh, let's go ahead and go to about 75 to about 100%. I'm going to go for 100% here. And then shaded views, we're going to go ahead and max that out. We're going to go lossless, non-shaded views, go to lossless, and then image, raster image quality. All right, we're going to go up to about 300. You can go all the way to 600. It'll take some time. But if you're just doing like small little sectional uh, views within your portfolio and you're going to have these smaller than a whole page, 
then I would su suggest 300. If you're going to go for a whole page and you're going to do some nifty uh, editing and and uh, and uh, detailing within Photoshop, then go 600. But for just little sectional small spots, I would do 300. We'll click OK. And if you can see, it's actually going through and it's printing down here at the bottom. All right, It's printing some of those to PDF. Now, if we go browse to our folder, and you'll notice in Revit, images, they'll start printing actually the JPEGs. Let's go ahead and take a, from the yard here. And if you notice, that's a pretty good image right there. We're actually kind of zoomed in a little bit there. Go ahead and exit out of there. Go ahead and take a look at this one. If you'll notice, it's actually a pretty decent image. And this is at a, at a full screen. Uh, so if you can imagine, this is going to be shrunk down a bit, especially for a portfolio. All right. And then here's the section longitudinal. And you can see it's actually a pretty good part. Now, maybe there's only like certain parts that you're going to want to cut out of here. Right? Don't worry. We're going to about to get to that. <coughs> now, once those are all done, <coughs> we're going to open up PowerPoint. We're going to go to Insert picture and we'll select some of those images you see my project section longitudinal section insert now as I was talking about earlier what if we only want to have a small section like this downstairs area like the little dining room area well we'll select it we'll go to crop and we'll size it on down there there to there. All done. Now, bring it up. If you can see, I've got a little, nice little sectional spot. Now, if you noticed, I zoomed out. Now, that's where it, it it's really important that we get a little bit more DPI in there. Okay? And it comes out as a decent picture. And that was a very small section, if you can imagine. All right. Now let's go ahead and add a few others there, just to kind of give get an idea. Size it on down. Now, as a small tip here, what I would do is some of your images that are a little bit bigger, what I would do is I would take and leave this the, the larger areas that you want to have where you're just sizing it down and, and scrunching it down like I'm doing here with these. And these smaller sectional spots that you want to have smaller pictures of, save those for those smaller areas if you can see in comparison to these other pictures here. Just use some of the tools at, at your hand to kind of add a dram more of a dramatic look. There we go. And this concludes the tutorial for Revit. Hope this helps, and be sure to give your tech support guys any kind of feedback of maybe some tips and tricks.